Hello and welcome to Combining Functions Graphically. Today we'll be learning how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide different functions when given the graph. So our first equation, f plus g of 1. So we have our f of x here, and we have our g of x here. So the line is our f of x, and the curve is our g of x. Now we're looking for f of 1 plus g of 1. So we're trying to find when those values are 1, what the y value is. So our f of 1 will be 3, and our g of 1 will be 1. So we have 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. So our f plus g of 1 will be 4. Now, looking at our next equation, f minus g of negative 2. Again, we are taking f of negative 2, and we are subtracting g of negative 2 to find our solution. So f of negative 2 is 0. g of negative 2 is 4. So we have 0 minus 4, which is negative 4. So our function f minus g of negative 2 is going to equal negative 4. Now the next graph we have here is f times g of 2. So you have to say f of 2 times g of 2. So we want to find when the function is 2. So here, f and g are the same at 2. They're both 4. So we are doing 4 times 4, which is 16. So f times g of 2 will be 16. And our last one, f divided by g of negative 2, or f of negative 2 divided by g of negative 2. So we look at our negative 2, which we've already found to be 0 and 4. So we have our f, which is 0, divided by our g, which is 4. So 0 divided by 4 is 0. Therefore, f divided by g is negative 2. Now, you could also do any order of these. So you could say g divided by f of negative 2. But what happens when we do that? We take g of negative 2 and divide it by f of negative 2. And remember, from the pre previous equation, we know those values. So we take g of negative 2, which is 4, and f of negative 2, which is 0. 4 divided by 0 is undefined. We can't find that answer. So this actually does not exist. All right, and that is how you find uh, functions graphically when combining them. So I'd like you to try some. So here's a new graph, and I'd like you to do this on your own. f plus g of 4, f minus g of 2, f times g of 0, and f divided by g of 1. Good luck and thank you for listening.